Hallelujah, hallelujah. <laughs> Glory be to God in the highest <laughs> for a time like this. Uh, we are welcome to this edition of Let's Talk, Let's Talk 138, uh, part 15 of the series Praying with Results. It's a great time in God's presence, and we are the Holy Ghost is here today to speak to us through His Word. So get ready as we share God's Word. So you are welcome. Thanks for joining us uh, during this broadcast. Mm -hmm. You are blessed. Amen. So let's talk 138, part 15. We are continuing the series, Praying with Results. And we are looking at the early church. What are the prayers that they prayed? Because they far cry from what we are praying today. What are the prayers that they prayed? that helped them. So we are looking at another looking at another example, Second Thessalonians one um Second Thessalonians three one to two. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We are going to read the word as we read, we believe deliverance takes place. Healing takes place. Thank you, Jesus. There is power in the word of God. Yeah. Okay. Three verse one. So let's go to three verse one. And two. One and two. Finally, brethren. Pray for us that the word of the Lord may have free course and be glorified, even as it is with you, and that we may be delivered from unreasonable and wicked men, for all men have not faith. And so that was a prayer request that was given to the brethren here. So we are just going to look at that prayer point. So Second Thessalonians, I'm trying to get there. Okay, that's the first thing. Yeah. 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 Okay. So here, the prayer was, "Pray for us that the word of the Lord may have free course and be glorified as it is with you." Oh yes. What does that mean? It means the word of the Lord may have free course, as in it being received without hindrances. Mm. We know that the word of the Lord can be hindered by various things. What are the things that can hinder the free flow of the word of God? Yeah. We know that traditions, mm. culture can hinder the free flow of the word of God, for it to have its full cause, to have to be fruitful, to have free cause to flow and even touch the lives of people as it should. Mm. Some things can hinder. Yes. And so those kind of things can be found in Matthew 15, 3 to 9. Yeah. That will cause the word of God not to have free cause mm. in the life of people. Okay. Can read from here. But he answered and said unto them, Why do you also transgress the commandments of God by your tradition? For God commanded, saying, Honor your father and mother. And he that causes father or mother, let him die the death. But you say, Whosoever shall say to his father or his mother, It is a gift devoted to God. Whatsoever you might have received from me, and honors not his father or his mother, he shall be free. Thus have you made the commandment of God void by your tradition. You hypocrites, well did Isaiah prophesy of you, saying, These people draw near unto me with their mouth, and honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. But in vain they do worship me, teaching for doctrine the commandments of men. 
teaching for doctrines, the commandments of men. And they now even say that, even in our time, they even say that even those doctrines, because they can find one verse in the entire Bible, they can find one verse, so they now make a doctrine. What That's about that? Mm. So making the word of God of none effect, mm. one word becomes doctrine, mm. and the rest of that verse is ignored. <laughs> mm like cherry picking and yes. then they make a doctrine from what they have cherry picked what mm. they like mm. what can promote them what can help them not help people but will at the end of the day help them mm. that are giving such doctrines oh yes so making the word of god of non-effect so people can cause hindrance to the free course of the word of the lord when they put traditions in place as doctrines they can make one doctrine maybe one verse they'll use it as doctrine they'll say it's the scriptures mm. because we have taken it from the bible so it is a doctrine that that means that's god mm. there meanwhile it's just one doctrine mm. what is the what's an example there what readily comes to mind is a doctrine like um washing the feet mm -hmm. of the saints oh yes jesus christ did it once and he was trying to show forth something humility oh, yes. that yes. we are to serve that if he can be serving yeah his followers then we too are supposed to follow that example oh yes it doesn't now mean that we should now make a doctrine out of that mm -hmm. that's an example right there oh yes oh yes and we don't see the disciples also doing feet washing <laughs> they got it mm -hmm. That is not feet washing, but being able to serve one another. They got it. Oh, yes. That's an example right there. Because Jesus Christ did it one day, it becomes a doctrine. Mm. No, that's not what he was saying. Mm. We need to go deeper to understand what he's saying oh, yes. concerning things. Because we don't see any of the disciples doing the same thing. Hmm. And God also, or God telling them off for not doing that, oh, yeah. that they should also be doing feet washing. Hmm. It means serving one another, not being masters. Like if I, as the master, can be washing your feet, you too to follow my example. Hmm. Serve people. Hmm. That the Son of Man came not to, not, how does the Bible not put to be it? Sad. Not to be sad but to serve oh, yes. and to give his life a ransom mm. unto many. He didn't, came to, he didn't come to lord it over people, yeah. but he came to serve so that he can bring us to know him. Mm. Who is he that is greatest among you? Is the person that serves. Oh, yes. Not lording it for serving. That is coming, bringing ourselves down to a level of service, of oh, yes. serving others. Oh, yes. And we are called on to liberty, not to use it for an occasion of the flesh, but by love, serve, serve one another. Yeah. another. So what can hinder? We are just looking at what can cause the word of God to not flow as it should flow in the hearts of people. Hmm. We are looking at traditions and commandments of men. When people exalt culture above what the word of God is saying, mm. then they have hindered the recourse. Mm. That although the scripture says this, but look at our culture, our culture forbids that. Mm. So we will follow our culture. That means that we have exalted it oh, yeah. above the word of God. Mm. Mm. And there are so many things we are coming to that, I think. Yeah. We have some down there some examples maybe we should look at that for example when we look at traditions or culture we are looking at ideas customs social behavior or a particular way of behaving of a particular people mm. the habits that they have so those things when they are handed down they bring various prejudices. Mm. Like, for example, in Africa, for example, they have the culture. 
the tradition of saying that the elder is always right. Yeah, yeah. That the young can never know more than the elder, which is wrong. Hmm. Hmm. They can even say that if people are talking here, it's only men that should be talking. If you're a woman and you're talking, you're nobody. Hmm. Hmm. Just go to the kitchen. Hmm. Go and do your work there. <laughs> That that's the way you are supposed to go and do your work. Mm. And then you take care of your children. You take care of your husband. <laughs> Meanwhile, that's not what the word of God says. The Bible tells us that every one of us, that we are the same. Oh, yes. That in Christ Jesus, there is no female. There is no male. There is no female. Mm. There is no Jew. There is no Greek, which means there is nothing like race. Mm. When we are in Christ, we are all one in Christ. Yeah. We have one spirit. Yes. Mm, we have one Lord. Yes. And one baptism. Yes. So in mm. Christ, there is no male or female. That's what the Bible says. That's the word of God. But when we exalt culture, mm. oh, these are this is the belief of the um, of the fathers <laughs> that women. They, they can't think properly. Maybe they're, they're not developed mm. as they should be. Although people are getting out of that, we are oh, fighting it. Ah, uh, yes, now. <laughs> yeah. We all have human rights. Oh, yes. We are all human beings. Mm. Mm. The male and the female are human. Oh, yes. So no matter the race. So, so anybody that comes against that and gives preference to the male, or the female, female yeah. is not following the true gospel. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Because there is no difference. And because there is no difference, God sent his spirit not only to the male, but even to the female. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Because there is no difference. Because they are both heirs mm -hmm. of the grace of mm -hmm. God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that is being exalted and it should be brought down. The mm. word of God is what should be exalted, mm. not culture. So that can hinder free flow. Mm. It's even possible that a woman is speaking in a place. And because you see it's a woman, because <laughs> you are biased already, mm -hmm. you won't listen to oh, what yes. that person has said. Oh yes. And so that can hinder you. And it's possible that God is using that person to speak something into your life. Mm. You are going through something at a particular point in time. But because you say that, ah, uh, it's a woman that is speaking, which she can have nothing <laughs> good to say. Please, That's God cannot hear yeah, God. <laughs> so that person has now hindered it in that person's life. Oh, yes. Not in the person that is speaking, mm. but in your life. Mm. As because, the hearer. Yes, yeah. as the hearer. Because you have said, oh, it's a woman. Nothing good can come from a woman. Mm. They are the ones that have brought us into this problem <laughs> that we have today. If it's no woman, no cry. <laughs> <laughs> that is because Eve, she fell. That's why the whole humanity, we have all fallen into mm. this sin. Mm. We could have been enjoying ourselves now. We should just be slapping the woman up and down. Mm. Mm. Because she's the one that brought us into this mess. Mm. No. Mm. We have already said it before that Adam was with her. Uh, Adam while was she there. was discussing. So don't blame the woman only. Blame Adam. Who yes. Was there. Who was there and was said there. nothing. <laughs> and he kept quiet. And uh, it was his responsibility. That's why God spoke to him. Although every one of them, the Adam and Eve, both of them, they had the consequences, mm. but he was the one that God addressed. Mm. So stop blaming, stop blaming the woman. Yes, because man, he was there. The man should also accept presence. with her. Oh yeah, we've said it before. It's there in Genesis. Mm. Genesis, which one is? Is it Genesis? Is it Genesis three? For, for those that are thinking of what we're talking about, <laughs> uh, and, and she gave it to Adam mm. that was with her. Mm -hmm. Mm. And he did eat mm. Genesis 3, verse 6. Mm -hmm. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food mm. and that it was pleasant to the eyes and a tree to be desired to make one wise, she took up the fruit thereof and did eat and gave also unto her husband with, with her. her. And, and he, he did, did eat. eat. He was there. <laughs> 
<laughs> so enough is enough. Yes. Enough is enough. Yes. Men should accept their responsibilities. Mm. Don't just put the blame on the woman. Yeah. Don't short change yourself. If going to use a woman to speak mm. to you, yeah. have a free heart. Uh. Forget about the sexual, uh, I mean the sex, uh. and just know that this word is coming from the Lord. Yes. And hold on to it. Yeah. Uh, that's an uh, even we can even look at some people can say that oh it's a donkey that's speaking. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, okay. That's an example there. Yeah, Balaam's yeah. donkey. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That is a donkey that's speaking. So I don't want. I don't need to. Who are you? Mm-hmm. You're my donkey now. <laughs> Why should I listen to you? And we know that God can use anyone. Yeah. So if we hinder the free course of that word is not doing us any good oh yes oh yes hmm. another way of hindering the cause the word of the lord also from taking his free course is also by looking at things like oh the way the person rebooked me i don't like it so i will not take the word hmm. that has come so that can hinder oh yes we don't decide how somebody rebukes us definitely mm. or say that this is the way it should be sugar coated we must be um oh, diplomatic oh yeah when oh, we yeah. are talking at mm. all times mm. it's possible that in some cases we have to do that but not in all cases mm. as we see even the example of our lord mm. in matthew 23 yeah he was rebuking them sharply Oh, yes. He didn't say that, oh, I will sugarcoat it. Let me put something and make it sweet so that they can, it's a, it's a bitter sweet um, pill. Mm. So let me sugarcoat it so that they'll be able to swallow it. He gave it to them raw mm. Mm. as it was bitter <laughs> for them to swallow. Mm. Bitter, but swallow it mm. because it was the truth. Mm. He was telling them of calling them hypocrites, mm. calling them devourers, calling them all the names because mm. what they were manifesting were those names. Oh, yes. They love the praise of men, all those things. He was addressing those things. <laughs> they appear spiritually, spiritual outside, but inwardly. They were like graves, full of dead men's bones. They look clean and holy on the outside, but full of extortion, full of iniquity. Mm. Matthew 23, yeah. for those that want to go and read it, read it again. This is Jesus I was speaking here. Even when he went to the temple too, yeah, yeah, he rebooked them and he took action. He took a whip. A whip. <laughs> So we have to know how the mode of delivery is not one size fits all. That it must always be like this. We must always be gentle. That that's what the word of God says. <laughs> There's a song that says that Jesus Christ, that he was never angry. Oh, yes, that he oh, was yes. always gentle. Mm. That is wrong. Mm. That is not scripture oh, yeah. because he became angry mm-hmm. at various points in time. Oh, yes. He was angry. He looked on them with anger. Mm. There are so many examples. So here, when he was rebooking, he was not doing it. Um, how would we put it now? When gently, you are rebooking someone. Gently and smiling. Smiling and mm-hmm. rebooking. No, nah, he wasn't. Nah, nah. He was really out for them. Mm. Telling them what they had done wrong. Mm. Some will say, ah, but that is Jesus now. Ah, that was Jesus. But that's what we are supposed to also follow. Mm. Are we not supposed to be imitators of Christ? Mm. Even the Bible tells us that we are supposed to be conformed to the image of his son. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. We are supposed to be like Christ, to be Christ-like. Mm. 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 And do it as God tells us to do it. If he tells us to do it in a gentle way, then we do it in a gentle way. Oh, yeah. And what are the Bible verses to 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 support that? If we look at First Timothy mm-hmm. five one, okay, five one, <laughs> First Timothy 
5 1 yeah. says, Rebook not an elder, but entreat him as a father and the younger men as brethren. Mm. But wait for it. Mm. <laughs> the same, the same chapter. chapter in verse 19 tells us that against an elder receive not an accusation, but before two or three witnesses. Mm. Them that sin, rebook before all, that others also may fear. Mm. This is talking about the elders. Oh, yes. 19 and 20 is telling us about the elders. Mm. Mm. Against an elder, okay, bring other people to bear witness mm -hmm. of what you are telling this person. Mm. You are accusing this person of or rebuking this person of. Bring witnesses. And then those that sin, rebook before all. You don't go and be praying for them. Oh, <laughs> Father, we know our leader is doing this. We are, oh, God, forgive me. The Bible tells us we are supposed to rebook them before all. Oh, yes. Why? So that others too can learn. Mm. Nobody mm. is exempted from rebook. No, 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 no. We no. know that the person is sin and we are going to pray. Mm. That secret love is better. Let us go and be praying. Mm. Mm. Open rebuke is better than secret love. Oh, yes. We love him so much. Let us not say anything. Let's just be praying. Nobody is perfect. Hmm. Here we are told in the same verse, because some people, they will come and say, ah, the Bible tells us don't hmm. rebuke an elder in trees. We have to know which one applies at every point in time. Oh, That's yes. what it means. Oh, yes. There are some we have to entreat them like a father. Oh, yeah. And there are some that we have to rebook. Mm. But especially those that are sinning, mm. Mm. we can see they are doing wrong. We are supposed to rebook them openly. Oh, yes. Not secretly. Um, please, uh, elder or father or leader or bishop or geo or senior or something. Mm. Uh, I've come to, this thing is not right. This thing is not good. <laughs> Let's look at the Bible together. You see, <laughs> this is not right, sir. Mm. Mm. No. If it's sin, the Bible tells us the book openly, mm. publicly, so that other two people, can, other people can learn that this thing is wrong. Mm. Okay, we are not supposed to do this. Or else a little even. Yeah. We'll live in the whole lump. We know that Paul and Peter at a particular time, yeah, yeah. even Paul had to rebook Peter. Oh, yes. Mm. I think that was Galatians too. Yes, that is not upholding the truth. Is not upholding mm. the truth of the gospel. Mm -hmm. Why? Because he was now acting as a, would we put it, as a hypocrite? Oh, yeah. Because before the Jews came to visit yes, him, yes, he yes. was eating with the Gentiles. Oh, yes. There was no demarcation, no, no discrimination, no discrimination yeah. or anything. Yeah. But when he saw that the Jews came, he didn't want to offend them. Mm -hmm. He wanted to be a man pleaser now. Hmm. Jesus, <laughs> so Paul himself had to rebook him. He didn't say, ah, Paul is an elder. He came before yeah, Peter. me. <laughs> um, Peter is an elder. Uh -huh. He came before me, so I shouldn't even rebook him. Let me go and be praying for him. He did this thing publicly. People could see that he was doing this, oh, yeah. and others were joining him. Mm. Mm. So in order to stop this thing, he had to rebook him openly before all. You want Gal to yeah, him? yeah, Galatians 2. Galatians yeah. 2. From verse 11. But when Peter came to Antioch, I withstood him to his face mm. because he was to be blamed. With me, I blamed him. Mm. For before certain men came from James, he did it with the Gentiles. But when they were come, he withdrew mm. and separated himself, fearing them who were of the circumcision. Can you imagine? <laughs> and the other Jews joined likewise. So mm. other Jews were carried along mm. with him. So that Barnabas also mm. the was, carried, he was carried away with the hypocrisy. But when I saw that they walk not uprightly according to the truth of the gospel. Mm. I said unto Peter, before them all, before them all, he said, you know, I pray for Peter. I said to Peter, before them all, 
if you being a Jew live after the manner of Gentiles and not as do the Jews, why compel you the Gentiles to live as do the Jews? We who are Jews by nature are not sinners of the Gentiles. Knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law, but by the faith of Jesus Christ, even we have believed in Jesus Christ, that we might be justified by the faith of Christ and not by the works of the law. For the works of the law, for by the works of the law shall no flesh be justified. He stood, he withstood Peter. Mm. He blamed him mm. openly. Yes. And guess what? Assuming he didn't do that, Barnabas would have been carried away. Mm. Barnabas, who was ministering with Paul to the Gentiles, he was carried away. Uh -huh, yeah, uh -huh, yeah. <laughs> he was carried away. Mm. And some Jews too. Mm. All, like all of them. Because Peter was a leader who was being, you know, looked at as an example. Yes. And I'm sure the Holy Ghost led Paul to do to even do, to do what he did. Yes. And because to it. Yeah. He rebooked. Peter openly and thank God for Peter. Ah, leader, leaders like Peter. Mm. Peter was Peter was humble enough mm. to accept the rebook. Mm. Did you hear that? You know, Peter further went on doing what he was rebooked mm. uh, of, and also Peter did not hold malice against um, Paul. Yeah, or remind or maybe you no know, reminded Paul of his beginning. Mm. Who? Who are you? Where are we are you when I was walking upon the sea? Mm. I ate with Jesus Christ. Mm. Where are we are you then? Mm. <laughs> it didn't remind him of his past. Guess what? Peter even referenced Paul's writing in his own writings. He said, he said, God has given Paul grace that his, that his writings are difficult to understand. Mm. So Peter referenced mm. Paul despite Mm. The fact that Paul called him to order. Mm. Peter didn't ask God to, you know, to kill to kill Paul mm. for rebuking him. Mm. He didn't go to gather prayer warriors mm. to come and destroy, to come and pressure, you know, so, so that Paul can die. Because Peter has has blamed ah, Peter blamed me. Paul must die. Oh God, kill, kill Paul kill for him. me. Kill him. Uh, curse him. <laughs> because because, because uh, Paul, because he has blamed Peter. Peter, the pastor of the early church. Oh. You know, the overseer of the early church. Oh. No. Peter was humble enough to accept responsibility. Yeah. And the leadership. Yeah. Leader there. Oh yes. Humble enough. To accept his fault. Oh yes. And guess what? God was glorified. You know, that accounts. God was glorified eventually. You know, all this thing that would have come up, you know, was just destroyed from the starting point. Mm. Racial prejudice, prejudice was destroyed from the root. Yes. Because Paul took his stand and Peter was humble enough to accept it. I mean, the blame. Yes. To change his ways. Yes. And we also know that even Jesus Christ, that he always did whatever he saw the Father do. He always yes. copied what the Father did. So that was the way God told him to rebook. Mm -hmm. When he rebooked the Pharisees that were supposed to be those that were sitting in the in the seat of Moses, they were the ones that were supposed to be the custodians of the law of Moses. He knew that that was how to rebook them, so he did it openly, and he told them who they were, that they were hypocrites. He told them to their face that they are serpents and all that. He told them. Mm. He didn't say, no, I won't say that one. He spoke according to what he saw, that mm. this is how the father told him to do it. So he was doing it like that. Mm. What's coming to my mind is that, you see, when you spend time with the Holy Ghost, there'll be a time whereby sometimes you are even talking. And, and you're the one in charge of, you know, what you are saying and even how you are saying it. Mm. Sometimes you are talking. Mm. You'll be, you be wondering, you know, ah, why did I speak like that? Mm. You spoke out, and those words were not your words, they are the words of God. Mm. And the mode, you know, you are not even you are, you are not even in charge of you know of, of the how the word was spoken. As a prophet, <laughs> you know, I've I have learned this. Sometimes you want to be smiling. 
And meanwhile, as you are, as you are, as you are declaring God's word, you, you, are, you, are, you are weeping and shedding tears. <laughs> you are crying, shedding tears. And sometimes, you know, you plan to speak harshly, but the word comes out gently. Mm. And sometimes you want to speak the word gently, and it comes out sh- sharply, because the Holy Ghost is the one that is, that's in charge of the mode oh. of delivery. Yes. He gives the word, and it gives you how to deliver it. Mm. They said Jeremiah was called, the, you know, the oh, weeping prophet. The prophet. <laughs> The man, you see, he will be weeping. Sometimes he didn't want to weep, but for some reason, he was inspired to weep. Yes, because that's God crying through him. Hey. So making it manifest yes. for people that yes. this thing really touched the heart, that is touching the heart of God. Uh-huh. That God himself is crying. Crying. And it's manifested through the prophet. The prophet. So the mood, <laughs> you know, someone yeah. call it, I mean, your mouth animating. Yeah. You are talking and your brain is not the one in charge. Yeah. You know, the Holy Ghost is bypassing your brain yeah. and it's talking through your mouth. Yeah. So it can be gently, it can be <clears throat> with with vigor. Mm-hmm. It can be by just laughing. Uh-huh. La- you, you are laughing you know hilariously. You're just laughing and laughing. Mm-hmm. Or it can be shedding tears. Mm-hmm. You're wondering why am I shedding tears? Sometimes mm-hmm. you are embarrassed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> ah, why am I shedding tears? I want to just be serious. Mm-hmm. But the word, the, the word was coming forth, and weeping was coming forth. Mm. So God has a way of of delivering His message. Yes, the person can be laughing, laughing or crying, yeah. or displaying any different, yeah. any kind of mo- emotion. Yeah, yes, yeah. to get that thing across. Oh yes, and it's not of the flesh, but it's of of God. the spirit. Yeah, yeah, to yeah. show. <laughs> mm. That this thing it really concerns God. Oh yes, that's oh, yes. why he's crying through mm. the prophet. Mm. And mm. even we know that even um, Paul himself, that when he was with the Corinthians, yes. he said, "I was with you in weakness and in mm. fear and in much trembling. Trembling. And my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of men's wisdom." But in demonstration of the spirit and of power, mm. that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. Oh yes. Mm. So Sometimes it, it can know, be like that. You can be trembling. You are shaking, and you're wondering why am I shaking? God is passing uh, His word through. I mean, through that vessel like that. Yes. It's not by it's not by you're you're trying to shake. I, I have to impress uh, people. I want to shake. I impress uh, people. But, but you see yourself vibrating and shaking, because that's because that's what. God is doing by His Spirit through His vessel. Yes. So mm-hmm. we need to uh, not be prejudiced and say, "Oh, because of the way the person is delivering the message, it might is not of God." Sometimes the person can speak with so much, maybe shout even. Yes, it's yeah. possible the person's mode of delivery is shouting. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And mm. sometimes it can be quiet. Oh, yes. We shouldn't be telling God or telling the person that because it's not in this particular way, so I will not listen to whatever mm. he's saying. Mm. I will discard the message. Uh, we need to allow the word to have free course in our lives. Mm. Maybe because of beliefs. It can be because of beliefs that, oh, a person has preached it before. That if you see people jumping all over the place, yes. then that means that that cannot be of God. Mm. Meanwhile, God can use your personality. If that's your personality, he can use that personality oh, yes. Oh, yes. to express himself. Mm. If the person is a person that jumps around, oh, yes. let oh, yes. him jump around. And if it, the person stands in a place, let mm-hmm. him stand in a place. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So long as we hear what the word of God is saying. Mm. So we shouldn't allow that to cloud our judgment. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now, because of the way he's delivering it, we don't like it. So we are not going to listen. We'll throw the baby and the bath water. We'll throw everything out. <laughs> we'll uh, throw them sad. away. That's very sad. <laughs> Let's start keeping the baby and throw the dirty water. If there's any dirty water, oh, yeah. let's throw it away. <laughs> mm. If we feel that it's, uh, it's not clean. But take the word. The word, the message. Take the message. If you see that there is any truth in it, Mm -hmm. we need to prove things. Mm -hmm. We don't just throw everything away. The person doesn't look like us, doesn't speak like us. Mm -hmm. So Mm -hmm. that means I will not take the word. Mm -hmm. We only take it if the person looks like me and talks like me. Dresses like me. Uh, Dresses like me. (laughs) 
comes from my denomination. Mm, mm, mm. That's when I will allow the word to have free course mm, in my life. Mm, mm. All these things should be brought to naught. They should not stand in our lives or else we are shortchanging ourselves. Yes, yes. Because God can use anybody mm -hmm. from anywhere. Mm, God mm. can use somebody that will say is a nobody. Mm. The person has not arrived. <laughs> <laughs> so that means that Abby, if the person has arrived, why is that person not having a big, massive church? Mm, mm, mm. Why is that person not doing this, going all over the place, mm. all over the nations? Mm, mm, what mm. about if that person is called to just a small place? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just be doing what I tell you to do from that small place. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So all these kind of things, they hinder they hinder the free flow, the free flow of the word of God mm. in our lives. If we look at Matthew, let's look at Matthew 2, Matthew 13, mm. concerning the heart mm. and the word of God that was going into the heart, mm. Mm. but was hindered by one, one way or, or the other. Yeah. So it was not fruitful as we are going to discuss the fruitfulness of the word later. Yeah. But here it tells us concerning the hearts and the hindrances oh, yes. that made the word not to be fruitful mm. Mm. in the lives. Yeah. Matthew 13, 3 to 9. Matthew 13, 3 to 9. And he spoke many things unto them in parables, mm. saying, Behold, and so I went forth to sow. Then, yeah, and when, yeah, verse 4, and when he sowed, some seed fell by the wayside, and the fowls came and devoured them up. Some fell upon stony places where they had not much earth, and immediately they sprung up because they had no deepness of earth. And when the sun was up, they were scorched. And because they had no root, they withered away. And some fell among tongues, and the tongues sprung up and shook them. Verse 8. But others fell into good ground and brought forth fruit, some a hundredfold, some sixtyfold, some thirtyfold. Who has ears to hear, let him hear. From verse 9, from verse 18. 18. Hear you therefore the parable of the sower. When anyone hears the word of the kingdom and understands if not, then comes the wicked one and catches away that which was sown in his heart. This is he who received seed by the wayside. Verse 20. But he that received that seed in stony places, the same is he that hears the word and immediately with joy receives it. Yet has he not root in himself, but endures for a while. For when tribulation or persecution arises because of the word, immediately he is offended. He also, he also that received seed among the tongues is he that hears the word and the care of this world and the deceitfulness of riches shock the world and he becomes unfruitful. As I say, but he that received seed in the good ground is he that hears the word and understands it. Who also bears fruit and brings forth some a hundredfold, some sixty, some thirty. Mm. So here we are able to see the things that can hinder the free flow and cause it not even to bear fruit. Mm. So it can hinder the free flow. We can see here that there is the deceitfulness of riches. Oh yes. Can hinder it. The mm. So what else? Persecution, yeah, yeah. persecution yeah. is yeah. there yeah. that can cause the word not to have free flow. Tribulations. And therefore, mm. 
Even uh, tribulations. tribulations and persecutions yeah. are mentioned. Yeah. Yeah. And so there's also, if we look at verse 19, it says, when anyone hears the word of the kingdom and understands it not, then comes the wicked one and mm. catches away that which was sown in the heart. Mm. This is he which received seed by the wayside. Mm. So what caused that? Mm. Because the person didn't understand it and didn't even want to understand it. Mm. Mm. Because understanding comes also when you can think on that word, yes. ruminate over it, yes. then it will become fruitful. Mm. Ask questions about the word. Yeah, ask questions about the word. Mm. Meditate upon what one has heard. Mm. Ruminate over it, ponder over it. Mm. Mm. When we do this, that's when the word can become fruitful. Mm. No wonder God told Joshua mm -hmm. that he should meditate upon this word, mm. upon this law that mm. he has received. Mm. Mm. so that he can be successful. Mm, 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 mm. No wonder Psalm 1, yeah. you wanted to say something? Yeah, you know, you know I, I mean, the idea of asking questions about the word, for example, you, you hear a word, you're asking, why is this is this word written? Mm. Unto whom, you know, has this word been written? Mm. What is the context around the word? Mm. You start asking questions. What can I learn from this word? Mm. What, you know, what, have I seen about God in this world? Mm. And how can I apply to my day-to-day -day life? Well, yes. you know, the how question, mm. the who question, the why questions, all this mm. when, you, when you ask like you know, when you ask like that upon the word of God, understanding opens up because you begin yes. to receive answers. Yes. And then the word will become fruitful. Yes, in your life. You ask questions, you see that at it. You want to you want to understand it yes by asking questions yes yes wh questions mm, mm, mm. so those things will cause the word to become fruitful when we do this it will cause the word to become fruitful we are going or even the word of god tells us that we should not just go after knowledge, but go after wisdom, go after understanding. Yeah. If we have knowledge without understanding, it is not going to help us. Mm, mm. So we also need to have understanding concerning what we know mm. or what we are learning. Oh, yes. Or the knowledge that we have. We need to have understanding and also be able to have wisdom as a result of all this mm. too. Then I was talking about Psalm 1 also yeah. tells us that blessed is the man mm. that walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, yeah. nor sits in the seat of the scornful, mm. nor stands in the way of sinners, yeah. but his delight is in the law of the Lord. Mm. And in his law does he meditate day and night. Nice. Mm. He shall be like a tree mm. planted by the rivers of water yeah. that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. Mm. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatever he does shall prosper. Yeah, that's the word of God. So that will make it so to buttress the understanding. Mm. We need to be able to meditate, to have good success mm. and not bad success. Mm. 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 When we meditate, understanding comes. And that's when the word can become fruitful. But if we are lazy, in trying to understand the word of God. Mm. And the Holy Ghost is there to grant us understanding. He's oh, the yes. spirit of understanding. He's the teacher that will give us knowledge as well as the teacher that gives understanding mm. concerning any scripture so, or anything that might be happening mm. around. So understanding the scripture requires deeper, deeper knowledge. Mm. You want to get to the root of that scripture it's not just reading the facial aspect uh, just the just the surface but you stay you stay in the verse and you are thinking on it mm. what what is behind this scripture mm. and as you stay in that verse or in that chapter in that mm. story mm. you begin to get understand because you yeah. cannot seek understanding and you don't find, you find it that was a seek you will find so when you seek for understanding yeah. you will find it because mm. it's a principle of god mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, other things that can cause the word not to have free course in a heart is the flesh mm -hmm. well, like the flesh 
works of the flesh, like greed. Hmm. Oh, the flesh doesn't like anything that has to do with pain or shame. Mm, shame. So mm. when they heard the word, I said, ah, this will cause um, shame. Me, this is my exalted position. I don't want to lose face. I don't want anything that will hinder me in any way. Mm. So I will not take the word of God. Will, so the flesh can hinder. Yeah. Pain. The flesh, the body doesn't like pain or shame. Mm. And people can even be praying against shame <laughs> because shame has been looked at as something that is bad. But if we are doing the will of God and shame comes, then we have to disregard it. Why do we have to disregard it? Oh, yes. Don't give it any respect or any recognition mm. because even our Savior did the same. Oh, yes. The Bible says, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him mm. endured the cross. It was painful. Mm. He endured it, oh, yes. despising the shame. Mm. Mm. He had to despise it. Mm. Mm. He had to disrespect it. He mm. didn't count it as anything worthy of note. Oh, yes. So that he could sit down at the right hand of the Father. Mm. 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 So there is shame and there is shame. If it's shame for evil doing, uh -huh. then that's a bad thing. Oh, Even yes. the Bible tells us yeah. that if we suffer as a Christian, that we should leave it, that is the will of God, oh, that yes. we should leave it. Yeah. Just commit our souls unto to our Father. Mm, mm. But, but if we suffer shame oh. because of what God is saying we should do, we should glorify God. Yes. We should thank Him. We should rejoice. Yes. Because the way God turned the shame that Christ went through into glory. Yes. The same way he would turn those shame to glory. Yeah. Because we are walking mm. in the will mm. of God. So which means if anybody is going through shame now and you're in God's will. Yeah. Look at the end. Glory. The end is that very soon you will see you being glorified the way Christ was glorified. Mm. He went through shame. Eventually, he came out glorified. Yes. I see you coming out glorified in Jesus' name. Amen. Mm. Amen. <laughs> so, what can cause there not to be free flow of, of the, the word. word of God? Mm. It can be hunger. Ah, if I do this word of God, I'm going to suffer hunger. And mm. I don't want hunger. Mm. Nobody mm. wants hunger. Meanwhile, we know that even Jesus, um, we know that Paul himself, mm in hunger often was it because he wasn't doing the will of god it's because he was doing the will of god mm. he didn't want to dance to any man's tune mm. Mm. that mm. okay i'm here brethren <laughs> i love you all and you'll be telling them lies pampering them flattering mm. them bringing mm. lies and everything mm. Mm. he was always out for the truth mm. and mm. anything that will hinder the gospel mm. he didn't want it Mm, plus money and belly. Uh -huh. He didn't want anything <laughs> like that. So mm. because of that, he suffered hunger. Mm. It's mm. possible that the enemy was even telling him, you see, mm. that's why you are suffering hunger now. <laughs> it's because you didn't dance to the tune of those people. Mm. You should go and beg them. Mm. 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 In, hunger, in hunger often, he experienced hunger. Mm. Even though he was doing the will of God, and he didn't give that up because of his hunger. He didn't exalt hunger above the will of God. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So because hunger uh, had to do with appetite too, mm. he didn't exalt his flesh, his body. Mm. Ah, you know, God, God should understand now. Mm. I need food or else I will die of this hunger. Mm. Even Jesus Christ, when he hungered, Mm, mm. because he too he hungered now during the temptation oh, yes. he also hungered mm. and then temptation came mm. Mm. why don't you turn this stone mm. are you see all these stones around just take one of them mm. and turn it into into bread and eat it mm. and it will prove to me mm. that you mm. are the son of God mm. you don't need to prove your identity to anyone that's mm. telling us something there Mm. We don't need to prove our identity. Our identity in Christ, we don't need to prove it to anyone. And go and do something that is outside the will of the Father. 
because we want to prove that we are children of God. Mm. Mm. That's telling us something there. We don't need to prove anything. Yeah, because you are hungry now, that shows you, that shows us that you are not a child of God. Mm, mm. You don't need to go and prove anything to anyone. Mm. You are a child of God and you are a child of God. You don't need to prove your heritage. Mm. That mm. yes, I'm a child of God. Eh, let me try and prove it. No, mm. I'm not going to try and prove it. If you like, you can say that I'm a child of the devil. Mm. I will stand my ground. I know who I am. Mm. Mm. I know my father. Oh, yes, now. <laughs> I know my identity in I Christ. My, oh, yes. I don't I need to mine. prove anything to you. Mm, mm. He didn't want to, he didn't need to prove himself. He could do it, but he knew that was outside the will of the father. Mm. So he was hungry. Hmm. Okay. Apart from hunger for food, there can be emotional hunger. Mm. Somebody, you know, someone who is single, either single mom, single, mm -hmm. a single man, someone who is a youth, appetite, I mean, hunger for, for sex can be there. But she say, no, I will not go into that. How should I do that? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I won't do that. Yeah. yeah. I will not do that. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. You know, I will not, you know, I won't go after that because this hunger will not be forever. Mm. Hunger for sex, hunger for you know physical satisfaction, can can you know can be there because because I think God's will, you are experiencing hunger even in the area of emotional satisfaction. Don't give up, don't give up. Very soon, God will make a way for you, mm. as long as you trust Him. Mm. So there can be hunger in the area of emotions, mm. hunger in the area of I mean thirst and hunger for things that are not in line with God's will. Mm. But thank God, Jesus Christ went through it and mm. he succeeded. Yeah. yeah. You through, you go through your own, you, you mm. succeed in Jesus' name. Mm. Mm. So we are talking about what can hinder the free flow of the word of God in a person's life, the hindrances. So some of the other things can also be loneliness. Mm. If I say this now, if I tell the truth now, if I speak the word as God wants me to speak it, I'll become lonely oh, that everybody will run away from me. So because of that, that can hinder the free flow. Mm. Because of fear of loneliness or fear of being an outcast. Mm. That if I say this now, people will become my, it will say that I'm the enemy. The flesh also doesn't love discomfort. Maybe if I hear, ah, if I take this word now, hmm. Hmm. it will bring discomfort. I'm enjoying myself as it is. Hmm. So that will hinder the free course. So it will not be fruitful in a person's life. It can even be concerning position. Hmm. Maybe we have a position, a good position, and the word of God comes. And it will not have free flow because we are safeguarding or we are safeguarding that yeah. position. Mm. Just like the Pharisees did, mm. did. That if we allow Jesus <laughs> Christ to continue the way he's going, mm. Mm. they will come and take away our position mm. and they will take our nation from us. Mm. We better do something about this Jesus. Mm. Mm. So let us do something about Jesus means let me let us do something about the word mm, mm, in mm, our time. About this truth. Mm. About this truth that mm. Jesus Christ has come to bring. Mm. But is the way because he's the way, the truth, and the life. Mm. This thing, if we allow it to continue, mm. is not going to help our position. So they made sure, even though they were just going in line with what God wanted them to do. So they made sure that they got the crowd, hmm. a feeble crowd that could not discern from the right, from their left, hmm. to come and say that they wanted Barabbas instead of wanting Jesus Christ. Hmm. 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 So they chose the thief. Yes. For the truth. Yes. Instead of the truth, they, they chose the thief. And they chose a lie. Yeah. Uh -huh. They chose a lie. In place of. Yeah, Barabbas, because we know that he was a robber. Oh, yeah. 
didn't he even commit murder? Yeah, or yeah, 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 yeah. I think so. I think so. But he wasn't a good character. Anymore. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And yet they preferred him. Mm. And mm. why? Because of their position. Mm. And they moved the crowd to do that. Meanwhile, the crowd didn't know that they were just being puppets. <laughs> oh yes, oh the crowd. Oh, bless, they bless were just being has. moved by the <laughs> Pharisees and elders, mm -hmm. the chief priests. Mm -hmm. They were puppets in their hands. They were the puppeteers, mm -hmm. and they were just puppets. They were just moving them, manipulating them, because they knew the power of a crowd. Mm. The influence of a crowd. So they got them to be people that would be crying that they wanted a thief. They wanted a liar, mm. a cheat, mm. rather than having the truth. Mm. Mm. So that too can hinder. And so even all those people too, they too, the word was not fruitful in their lives, even for the time that Jesus Christ was even alive. And even when he died and he rose, we know that some gave their lives after. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. And some still didn't. So the word of God can be hindered because of greed, because of position. For various reasons, the word can have no free course in people's hearts oh, yes. if they have various things that are hindering. So for those that have not checked those things out, please go back to them. We can't repeat them now. We're just going to continue with our teaching. We are talking about them. We are discussing Second Thessalonians 3, 1 to 2, yeah. which we've already read. Yeah. So that the word of God will have free course. Yeah. So the continuation of that particular verses and the word may be glorified hmm. not only have free course but also be glorified yeah that means be effective in producing results hmm. that means be effective in producing fruit hmm. and what does john 15 8 say hmm. The word of God is supposed to and bear this fruit. Is my father glorified, yeah. Yeah, hearing is my father glorified. Mm. That you go and you bear fruit. Mm. So God's word can be glorified as in going to bear fruit. Yeah. You want to yeah. Read? And this is my father glorified that you bear much fruit. So shall you be my disciples. Yes. Yes. So the word of God is supposed to bear fruit oh, in yeah. our lives because we are part of that vine. Mm. So the word of God is supposed to bear fruit. What are the fruit? Can be fruit as in salvation. It brings fruitful, fruitfulness. If it has free course and it is fruitful, that means it results in salvation. Yep. It results in deliverance. Mm. It results in healings. Mm. It results in discovering one's purpose. Yeah. It results in our character or nature being made manifest. Um, the character and nature or nature of God yeah. being manifest in our lives. Oh, yes. As we continue our journey, mm. Mm. we should be able to see the fruitfulness of this in our lives. We should be able to also see that we are becoming more Christ-like every day. Oh yes. We should be also we should also be able to see that when it's fruitful, that means light and understanding comes. And when light and understanding, that is when revelation and understanding comes. We know fruitfulness will come. Oh yes. So we have Psalm 119, 130. Mm. Yeah. Psalm 119, yeah. 130. The entrance of your word. Mm. The entrance of thy word. Mm. Give yes. it light mm. and understanding to, to the, the simple. simple. That yes. means to the innocent, to the simple. Mm. It's not talking about foolishness because we have two. When we talk about um, to the simple, they, are, they can be talking about either innocent 
or foolish. Yeah. But in this particular instance, it's talking about simple as in innocent. Mm. Mm. So the entrance of your word, of thy word, yeah. gives light, it gives understanding to the simple, to the innocent. Mm. Mm. The entrance, that means that that word is active. When we talk about entrance, we are not talking about entrance as a noun. We are talking about entrance even as a verb. And so the entrance, that means that that word is quick and powerful. It's going, it's active. And it's going into the heart of people. Oh, yes. In order to bring salvation, to bring deliverance, to bring understanding, to bring revelation, hmm. which is to make it fruitful. That word also is supposed to bring direction. That's fruitfulness also. Oh, yes. If you have direction concerning where to go and where not to go, mm. that is also the word being fruitful in our lives. Mm. If we look at Psalm 119, 105 also tells us that thy word is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. That means it's supposed to bring direction. Mm. Mm. Wherever we see light in the word, yeah. that's the direction we are supposed to go. Mm. When we see revelation from the word, that's the direction that it wants us to go. Mm. 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 We are not supposed to go outside the light that we see, outside the revelations that he reveals unto us. Mm. Mm. When the word you know, jumps at you, yeah. the word just lifts itself off from the bit of scriptures. Mm -hmm. That is direction. The yes. word jumps at you. You say, wow, it's come this, alive. That, this word Active. just come, that this word just comes alive. That is revelation. That is direction mm -hmm. for you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's just a summary that we put there. But we have examples that we can look at. Um first Thessalonians. Yeah. Talking about the Thessalonian brethren themselves. They had results. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Although this was a request for them to pray. Yeah. This, but because they saw that they had results in their lives, Paul told them to pray this prayer also. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That be he sent this prayer request to them. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. First Thessalonians chapter one, verse eight. For from you sounded out the word of the Lord, not only in Macedonia and Achaia, but also in every place your faith toward God is spread abroad, so that we need not to speak anything. For they themselves show us what manner of welcome we had unto you, and how you turned to God from idols to serve the living and true God, mm. and to wait for his Son from heaven, whom he raised from the dead, even Jesus, who delivered us from the wrath to come. Mm. So here we are able to see that the Thessalonians, yeah. Thessalonians yeah. that the word of God was free, had free course, and was fruitful in their lives, mm. that everybody everywhere were able to attest even to that faith um, to that fruitfulness and even they moved that word to other surrounding places cities yeah cities to that effect and it wasn't just by mouth mm -hmm. it was also by action oh yes so we have that there to show that they were fruitful the Bible says they turned from idols. Yes. To serve the living God. Yes. You know, they were not worshipping men, they were worshipping God. Yeah. They were not worshipping money, they were worshipping God. They turned from idols to serve the living God. Yes. Yes. Because the world was fruitful in, in their, their lives. lives. So when people are still trying to serve God and to serve mammon, mm, mm -hmm. there will be no fruitfulness. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It doesn't show fruitfulness. It doesn't fruitfulness will not come. Mm, mm, mm. And there are other idols too. But here we are told that they stopped doing those things. That showed genuine repentance. Mm, mm. That they turned from idols. Yeah. 
But when a person is still serving idols or has gone back to idols, mm. then we can't say that the person is fruitful. That word is no longer fruitful in that oh, person's yes. life. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Um, another example of fruitfulness is um, Acts 10, 1 to 48. Mm. Yeah. That was the account of Cornelius. Acts 10. Mm. The word of God had free course and was fruitful in the sense that they believed, they gave their lives to Christ. Yeah. We know that they gave their lives to Christ and they had an encounter with the Holy Spirit. With the Holy Spirit because they started speaking in tongues. Mm -hmm. So when you can read the first few verses, uh, the first, okay, mm -hmm. Acts 10 from verse 1, there was this, there was a certain man in Caesarea called Cornelius, a centurion of the band called the Italian band, mm -hmm. a devout man, and one that feared God with all his house, who gave much arms to the mm -hmm. people and prayed to God always. Mm -hmm. He saw in a vision, evidently about the ninth hour of the day, an angel of God coming in to him and saying unto him, Cornelius. And when he looked on him, was afraid and said, What is it, Lord? And he said unto him, Your prayers and your arms have come up for a memorial before God. And now send men to Joppa and call for one Simon, whose surname is Peter. He lodges with one Simon, Simon a tanner, whose house is by the seaside. He shall tell you what you ought to do. Mm. So that's to, that's so that's to verse six. Yes. So that's the oh, background. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So people can read the whole of that yeah. chapter. Yeah. Yeah. So the word was fruitful in Cornelius, not only in Cornelius' life, even in the life of his family, his yeah. household, as well as his friends that he gathered to await for Peter to come. Yeah. Yeah. Because he did send out servants to go and bring Peter, mm. since the angel had described who they, he was supposed to send for mm -hmm. and where that person was residing and who he was residing with. Mm -hmm. So they were able to go there and get Peter. And Peter came and preached to them while he was even still preaching and saying, oh, you know, according to the law, the law, we don't mix with Gentiles <laughs> and this and that. Oh, yes. and, they and he started preaching. We are told that the the Holy Ghost came upon them, mm. even without Peter even talking about the Holy Ghost, mm. Mm. fell upon them because they had believed in their heart. God deals with the heart. God has prepared them even before Peter arrived. So there was a preparation. So that means that the word of God was able to have free mm. course in their lives and be fruitful that all of them, they believed, they were baptized in the Holy Ghost, mm. and Peter even said, okay, because this has happened, oh, yes. who's going to stop us from baptizing them even in water? Mm. Mm. Because of this. So the word was fruitful. Mm. And it was fruitful because the Lord had prepared Cornelius. And mm. even those that he spoke to, oh, my friends, come, come, I had this revelation. I saw an angel. Oh, please come to my house. Mm. I've sent my servants to go and pick up this man to come and talk to us. Mm. 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 And they were all sitting down and listening to Peter. So mm. their hearts had been prepared oh, yes. before Peter even came. Mm. And even he came by revelation too. Yeah, yeah. And so... The word had free course and was fruitful. What the word came to do was what was done mm. in their lives. Because the word of God always has a purpose. The word that goes forth out of the mouth of God always has a purpose, something to fulfill. God doesn't just talk. There's always a purpose for every word that he speaks. Mm. So that is what we can see here. Okay. Uh, let me just add this. Cornelius knew precisely the person he should listen to. Yes. <laughs> the person he should hear God's word from. Mm. The person who will be helpful to him. Mm. 
in the world today, there are so many people who tell you, go and hear this, don't go and hear that. And this person is a good person to listen to. This one, don't listen to, 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 mm. to this person. You know, and people have various reasons why they are saying, don't go and listen mm. or listen. And come and hear us, don't hear us. But when you, you know, see God, so I say, God, who do I, you know, what is your will concerning even who to listen to? Yes. He will show you. Yes. Cornelius, who happens to be a Gentile, God gave him information precisely. Yes. Concerning who will come and speak to his life. Yes. So that he can know the right way to follow. Yes. <laughs> He could have easily discarded the revelation. Uh, uh, that's said, a point. Okay, I know about this way. I know about this way. Okay, let me call Peter. Um, oh. let me call. Uh, okay. Ah, maybe let me call John, mm -hmm. mm. the beloved. Mm. Oh, okay. He's even nearby. I don't need to send my servants to such a far place. <laughs> okay. Let me call that person. That too. I think it's still the same way. Mm -hmm. He didn't mm. do that. Mm. 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 Or let me call um, um, Thomas. Mm. 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 Or let me call anybody. Oh, I know someone that knows so so and so person. Mm. Let's call that disciple to come. Mm. And we don't need to do that. Mm. He followed the revelation to the letter. Oh yes. Uh, uh. He didn't go out of it and say no. That one, that Peter. Okay. Uh, let's not call him. Let's call someone else. Mm. Mm. He mm. followed the revelation to the letter because he followed it like that. The fruit came out. Fruit, mm. salvation came out. Mm. If anyone was there that was sick, I'm sure that they prayed for them. Oh, yes. Even when they are saved also, that is also part of the package. Mm. When we talk about salvation, we are talking about deliverance, healing. Mm. Mm. We are talking about this. Uh, it's not even the soul that is being saved, yeah. but the spirit oh, yes. Oh, yes. that is being saved. Although we know that is a popular saying that people will say that the soul is being saved, mm. saving <laughs> souls. souls. Yeah, yeah. But it's not the soul that is being saved. It's the spirit mm. Mm. that has been changed. Oh, yes. So be a new one. Therefore, if anyone be in Christ, is a new creature. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Mm. That is talking about our spirit man oh, yes. that was dead. Mm. 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 because the soul is not saved yeah that's why it should be renewed that's why it has to be renewed mm. it has been conformed to the world oh yes that's why we are we are told even in romans 12 to be not conformed to this world but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind mm. so that you can prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of the father mm. the will of god mm. Mm. So it's when we are born again, when we are when we are being born by the Spirit, yeah, and the Word, John three, yeah, that's when we have to now start studying for ourselves. Mm. So, that's, so that our souls can now be saved. Yes. Yeah. So it's a process of renewal, oh, of yeah. changing from the old to a new, oh, yes. from being transformed mm. to being transformed, brother. That is happening. So, it, and it's a continuous process. The more of the word that we have, the more we can prove things, whether they are good, they are acceptable, and they are the perfect will of God. If we don't, the less of the word we have, the less we can prove what is our good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Mm. Um, let's continue. We are yeah. talking about. Examples of uh, fruitfulness. Um, yeah. So, Philip in Samaria, Acts eight five to eight. Yeah, fruitfulness in Samaria. Mm. The word was fruitful. The word was fruitful. Yeah. Well, good day, Reverend Okay, we appreciate you. Thanks mm -hmm. for coming, and others who are joining us too. Yeah. We appreciate you all. Thank mm -hmm. you. Okay. Acts eight five to eight. Mm. Yeah. Then Philip went down to the city of Samaria and preached Christ unto them. And the people with one accord gave heed unto those things which Philip spake, hearing and seeing the miracles which he did. 
Mm. For unclean spirits, crying with loud voice, came out of many that were possessed with them, and many taken with palsies, and that were lame, were healed. And there was great joy in that city. Mm. And there was great joy in that. So there was fruitfulness in that. Why? The fruitfulness that we can see is the word that was being spoken out. Philip, he not only performed these, uh, did these miracles through the help of God, but he also spoke the word. Oh, yes. He spoke the word and the signs were following, confirming that word that mm -hmm. he was speaking out. People were not just excited because they saw the testimonies. They saw the testimonies and they gave heed to him. Mm -hmm. Because the word was being pro proven oh, yes. to be the truth by the signs and wonders. And these signs shall follow them that believe. Mm. Mark 16. Mark 16, 17 to 20. Mm. It has to be the word of God. And signs will follow. Mark 16, 17 to 20. We want to point out something here. Yeah. That's why we are laying emphasis. Yeah. yeah, Mark 16. Yeah. Yeah. And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out demons, they shall speak with new tongues, they shall take off serpents, and if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. So then, after the Lord has spoken unto them, he was received up into heaven, and sat on the right hand of God. And they went forth, and preached everywhere, the Lord walking with them, and confirming the word with signs following. Amen. 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 So the Lord was working with Philip, even as he was working with the disciples here. Yeah. The Lord was present, and the Lord was present with Philip. So the word that he was speaking, the confirmation was coming with signs and wonders to confirm what he was saying, that it was the truth. Oh, yes. But it is also possible that people can do signs and wonders today. And because they are doing signs and wonders, they say that what that person is saying is the truth. Hmm. Meanwhile, it's not the truth because it's not the word of God. That's why we shouldn't be carried away with signs and wonders. Look at the message that the person is preaching. Hmm. Hmm. Look at the message that the person is preaching. The person can be preaching something that is not the word of God. Mm. Something that is not scriptural. And then, yes, signs and wonders mm. seem to be manifesting. It doesn't mean that that's the word of God. Uh, that means that that's not, how would I put it now? It's not the word of God. Mm. It's not scriptural. Mm. The person can be speaking heresy. Mm. And signs and wonders are coming. Hey, that means that this word is true. Mm, because no, of the because of the signs and wonders. No, mm. that's why we need to know the word for ourselves. Mm. When someone is coming out with something that is not the word of God, mm. even if the person is doing signs and wonders, that this word that you put here, you are now saying that that tells us that this is the word of him, that this is it. That this is the truth is not the truth. Mm. That no, this person is not speaking the truth. Mm. Mm. This person is speaking lies. And yet these signs and wonders, that should tell us that mm. they are not of God. The source of the signs and wonders. Yes, are not of God because we have lying wonders. Oh, yes. Lying signs and wonders exist. Mm. 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 So we shouldn't be carried away with that. Mm. What is the word? Is it scriptural? What this person is saying? So we shouldn't be carried away with signs and wonders and say that, oh, that means anything that this man is saying or anything this woman is saying must be the truth. No, we need to examine the word. What is the person saying? Ah, this person is not preaching the right thing. Oh, but the person brought a scripture, brought some scriptures. We should examine those scriptures. Is that is that what the scriptures mean? 
Because people can bring even letters and people will say, ah, he brought scriptures now. So that means it's true. Meanwhile, it's not the truth. The mm. person brought scriptures, but brought surface um, letter. Mm. Surface meaning. Surface meaning. Mm. Mm. Instead of bringing the truth out of it, has turned it to lies. Mm. And people say, hey, hailing the person mm. for bringing error. We need to know the word of God. Study. We are not supposed to be, in, in this new generation, this new era, we are supposed to be, every one of us is supposed to be someone that studies the word. Oh, yes. If we don't study, we will not rightly divide the word of truth. Mm. And shame. The shame that is not, the shame. Hmm. Yeah, we have already talked about shame, but this particular shame, hmm. we shouldn't even say we want it. Hmm. Hmm. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needs not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. But if we don't study, is this true? This person has brought up a doctrine. Is it the truth or is it a lie? We should be able to study around that place, look at the context, look at everything, look at the meaning, apart from that meaning that the person is saying is the meaning. Mm. Mm. And even lean on the Holy Ghost to even give understanding. Oh, yes. Because it's possible that if we are reading something, we are reading somebody's interpretation. Oh, yeah. Which is not even God's interpretation. Mm. That mm. is also possible. If you hear someone long enough, you can start interpreting the way that person is interpreting. And, it, mm. and it doesn't necessarily mean that that person is quoting the right thing mm. or giving the right interpretation. Oh, yes. That's why we are supposed to do this. This is our responsibility. Even as Christians, mm. we are supposed to study the scriptures for ourselves. Oh, yes. Not rely on people and say, oh, who will give me understanding? The Holy Ghost is the spirit of understanding. It can help us to understand it. We just have to press in. Even if we don't understand, press in. Continue pressing in. Perseverance is one of the, the, um, one of the fruits that we are supposed to develop. We develop it. There is a there is a place for developing mm. that perseverance. We practice it, mm. and we become. We practice it, and we become someone that is able to persevere, yeah. to endure. So we have to press in, even if it looks like it's Greek. One day it will open up. Oh yes, oh yes. If we persevere. Because God will see that we are persevering, even if we don't understand. Mm, mm. We shouldn't just be taking things hook, line, and sinker. That, oh, it's a man of stature. And this person has been in the faith for 40 years. Or this woman has been in the faith for 30, 40, 20 years, 10 years. This person is older than me in the faith. Mm. So let me just take everything as it is. We are supposed to prove all things. Hmm. All things. Whether they are in the Bible, even outside the Bible, prove all things. The Bible says all. So it means anything, anything that comes across our path, we are supposed to prove it. All things. So that we will be able to take what is good and refute that which is evil, mm. which is not the perfect will of God. Mm. So which means, what, what, what I would try to say is that there are genuine signs and wonders mm. which, follows, which follow God's word being preached. And there are also lying signs and wonders yes. which follow words that are not, you know, that are, being, that are being preached that are not of the Lord. Yes. As regards speaking in new tongues, there is genuine speaking in tongues. Yes. There is also fake tongues. Mm -hmm. When it comes to holding up a serpent, you can do it by the power of God and also by the power of the enemy. Mm -hmm. When it comes to laying hands upon the sick and the sick are getting, are getting healed, it can be done by the power of God 
and also by the power of darkness. So it's a matter of you now knowing what is the source. Mm. And what, in one of the true tests of the source of the, this sign is the word that's being preached. Yeah. Is this word from God or from the devil? Is this word in the life of scriptures or not? Mm. So if, it, if, it's, if, it, if it's from God, I will see the signs. Mm. If I signs must follow. Mm. And from the enemy, and you, are, and you are seeing signs, mm. then be cautious. Mm. That cannot be from the Lord. Mm. Mm. <laughs> and there are many voices in the world. Mm. We are supposed to be able to differentiate. Oh yes, that which is of God and that which is of the enemy. Then we also have another example of fruitfulness of the word, Acts 19, 13 to 20. Mm. Acts 19. Then certain of the vagabond Jews, exorcist, which means they can cast out devils, <laughs> mm. took upon themselves to call over them who had evil spirits, the name of the Lord Jesus, saying, We adjure you by the Jesus whom Paul preaches, and there were seven sons of one's scaver, a Jew, a chief of the priests, who did so. And the devil and the evil spirit answered and said, Jesus I know, and Paul I know, but who are you? And the man in whom the evil spirit was lived on them, and overcame them, and prevailed against them, so that they fled out of that house naked and wounded. And this was known to all the Jews and Greeks, also dwelling at Ephesus, and fear fell on them all, and the name of the Lord Jesus was magnified. And many that believed came and confessed and told of their deeds. Many of them also, who used magic arts, brought their books together and burned them before all men, and they counted the price of them and found it 50,000 pieces of silver. So mightily grew the word of God and prevailed. Oh, we are talking about the fruitfulness of the word of God. Mm. That some people decided to do something about that. Yeah. They had seen Paul casting out devils and mm. they decided to do the same thing. Mm. And because people were able to hear of what happened, Paul I know. So <laughs> if Paul knew, yeah, he was recognized by demons. As Paul, they know Jesus, he knows them, mm. must be preaching the truth. Oh, yes, okay. Coming okay. to that conclusion, now, okay, mm -hmm. for them to have, um, for this to happen. Oh, yes. And so, because of that, they believed, they believed what they had been hearing that word before. Mm. Mm. So, they now believed because this was a confirmation. And so, the word now had fruit in yes. their lives, became fruitful in their lives, mm. and that many of them, they believed because of what had now happened. Mm. Mm. It all led to fruitfulness. Oh, yes. Oh, because yes. Paul had already preached. Oh, yes. And they now believed mm. Mm. because they saw this evidence. Oh, yes. They oh, saw yes. this evidence, mm. and they now believed. Mm. And because of that fruitfulness, they believed. And not only that, all their curious arts Mm. All their books and everything, they brought them together and they burnt them. Mm. And the word of God grew and prevailed as a result of that. So it was fruitful. Oh, yes. And that they now believed because of that. Not only because they had heard, but they had also seen Sin, yeah. what happened. Oh, yeah. Because it was like the, that was validating Paul, yeah. and validating jesus christ oh yes oh yes so they now believed it's not that paul now came and started preaching okay you know what? okay yeah i get you uh -huh. mm. now preach they had already heard it before so the word now had free mm. the, the, the word of god now was fruitful mm. Mm. as a result Verse 17 says, and this one was known to all the jews mm. Verse 17 what mm. happened to the son of scavers uh, okay yeah and fair fellow them Mm, mm. And the name of the Lord Jesus Christ was magnified mm. because they had, uh, the evil spirit had said, hey, Paul, I know. No, yeah. Mm. Jesus, I know. But who are you? Mm. So, so he validated Jesus Christ and also validated Paul, oh, yes. who was now talking about Jesus Christ. 
So, so those who are following the devils, I mean the devils, mm. they have to turn back. That I mean, this route is not the right route. Yes. Because the devil also knew Jesus and knew Paul. Mm. So let's mm. follow Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. Now they need. Okay. Mm. But will we say that the, the, but that wasn't what the devils wanted, the evil spirit wanted to do. Okay. But it was like it, it was, was turned. turned. Okay. Yes. Okay. Hmm. Mm. Because they said that. <laughs> How can they say that Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, we know? Mm. Oh, we know. We know. Mm. Mm. That's something to think about. Okay. Although they didn't mean it for, they just wanted to do what they wanted to do. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. They go use uh, I mean, that statement to yes. cause people to be converted. Yes. To yeah. think. To think. Ah. I wonder. Ah. That even we 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 don't have that power, mm -hmm. despite all our curious um arts mm. and books that we have, all these uh, magician books, mm -hmm. witchcraft books mm -hmm. that we have, mm -hmm. all these things that we have, mm -hmm. is not producing this kind of results. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so they were able to think, mm -hmm. and because they're able to think, they were able to believe. So they let go all their curious yeah, arts. Yeah, all those things. They surrendered them and burned them. They didn't go back to them. They went to burn them. That, mm. That's the end. They burned that bridge mm. so that they won't go mm. over that mm. bridge again. Mm. So what they have been reading, yes, that was not yeah. productive. Yes, the right, I mean you know they just fruitful. yeah reading. They will do those books things, that, 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 will, that will not help them. None of them had the power that was displayed here. Mm. 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 None of mm. them could do this. Yeah, yeah. But okay, Jesus, it must be true. What Paul is saying must be true. Yeah. And the next one about fruitfulness, Acts 16, 14 to 18. Mm. Fruitfulness, the word being fruitful. The word being fulfilling purpose. Mm. Acts 16 from verse 14. And a certain woman named Lydia, a seller of purple, of the city of Tartira, who worshipped God, had us, whose heart the Lord opened, so that she attended unto the things which were spoken by Paul. And when she was baptized at her household, she besought us, saying, If you have judged me to be faithful to the Lord, come into my house and abide there. And she prevailed upon us. Yeah. So the word of God was fruitful here in the sense that she was converted. Lydia, the, the seller of purple, mm. was converted. The mm. word was fruitful in her life in that she became saved. Oh, yes. Maybe she was following another route, mm. maybe the law. Okay. Because we are told here that she worshipped God. How was she worshipping God? Mm -hmm. mm. But mm. not in the new way that she was supposed to be worshipping oh, yes. God. So the Lord opened her heart to receive the word. So her heart was prepared to. Mm. So the word had free course. Mm. She didn't hold any prejudice or anything. Mm. She, her heart was opened to hear what Paul had to say. Mm. Mm. And she believed mm. and gave her life to Christ as a result of that. So it was fruitful. And as a result of that fruitfulness also that she gave her life to Christ, she constrained the people. She constrained Paul mm. and associate to stay with her. It's not that Paul was the one telling her, <laughs> you, we know that you are, you are a rich person. Mm. We know you are this, you are that. You better house us mm. so that we can be a blessing here. She mm. was the one that constrained them to stay with her. Mm. I mm. have a house. You don't have any place to go. Come, come, come and stay with me. Mm. Because she was a seller of purple. That means her customers were rich people. Oh, yes. Because the people that wore purple were people that were rich. Oh, so yes. her customers were rich. So that goes on to tell us that she was a rich woman. 
and she had a house. And it wasn't Paul that was saying, now you need to house us. You need to do this, you mm. need to do that. So your house. Uh, so your house. <laughs> give us money. Give uh. us this. Give us that. No. She had to constrain them to stay with her. So the word was also fruit, fruitful, even in Paul. And it's actually it's life also, because mm. they had nowhere to go. Mm, mm. They were visitors in that place. Mm, and go provided. Uh, provided a place of abode. A place mm. of abode for mm. as long as they stayed there. Mm. Stay here. Mm. They didn't even know where they were going to stay. Can you imagine? They just left uh, for Macedonia. Just left for Macedonia. Mm. Mm. Ah, that when we get there, do we know anyone there? Oh, <laughs> do we know anybody? Ah, we don't know anyone there. Where, where are we going there? Mm -hmm. Let's go when there is somebody we can contact. No, they knew nobody, but they went. They left where they were at. They went mm. because that was the will of the Father for them to go to Macedonia. As we know that he had a vision where a man was saying, come over to Macedonia and help us. We know that they had challenges there. But that was the will of God for them to go to Macedonia mm -hmm. to, so that the world can be fruitful in the life of Lydia and even later on in the life of others too. Oh, yes. Because it was in the same place that we are told that he had to cast out a demon from yeah. a damsel yeah. and they now put them in prison and they were now singing praises to mm -hmm. God mm -hmm. and... As a result of that, everything, um, and their chains fell off and everything, all, doors were all, opened, all yeah. the doors were open. Yeah. That even the jailer himself sprang forth. He was so afraid that, ah, these prisoners have escaped. They are going to have my head. Said, no, 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 don't do that. We are still here. We are all here. Nobody is missing. Mm. He now came in. What can I do to be saved? Mm. All mm. that happened. Mm. So the word even was fruitful, even despite the persecution that they faced. Yes, yes. Being put in prison mm, mm, and all mm. because of money. If we look at the root of that reason, <laughs> because <laughs> the people that were holding on to that damsel, yes, they were using her for fortune telling and they were collecting money. Oh, yes, from people. Mm. So it was money that ah, all our means of gain <laughs> has been lost. Mm. That's why they when they were out for him mm, for paul for paul mm, and silas mm, mm. so we know that it was even fruitful that even the jailer now became saved oh yes his household became saved mm. and even the prisoners although we are not told that any of them mm. became saved that was a seed mm. that was planted that oh i had an encounter <laughs> that all the doors were opened mm. and all our chains fell off. Mm. Mm. That we were even too stunned to even get up and escape. Mm. We're just bewildered. That mm. we're just puzzled. We are, we're amazed. Mm. Mm. And they will know that, okay, okay, we know we heard people that were singing and praising and praying. Okay, okay. That was a seed that was planted. Mm, mm, mm. And who knows, later on, maybe through that, they became saved. Oh, yes. Many of those prisoners, oh, or yes. some of them became saved as oh, a yes. result of that later on. They can't tell us everything in the Bible, yeah. but it's possible that that happened because the word of God always goes out to fulfill a purpose. Oh yes. Why is it that it's not only Paul and Silas that experience that encounter. encounter. Mm, mm. So all that prisoners also had the encounter. Had so that why? Encounter. Mm. Why? Mm. And that also shows how merciful God can be. Mm. We don't know how. We don't know what the other uh, prisoners did before they were imprisoned. Mm, mm. They maybe, must have done so. <laughs> maybe they were rightfully imprisoned. Yes. <laughs> mm. But God, but God mm. had mercy. Mm. on those who we are wrongly imprisoned mm. and those who we are rightly imprisoned mm. by setting them free. Mm. That is that is God for you. Mm. Maybe, maybe you're watching this program and you have been wrongfully imprisoned. Mm. God will intervene on your, on your behalf in Jesus' name. Amen. There will be freedom. God will step in mm. and he will set you free in the mighty name of Amen. Jesus Christ. Yeah. 
Now, you know, as you are talking, well, you know, what about um, Lydia, the purple seller? Mm. Lydia, Bible says she worshiped God, and guess what? She was prosperous. Yes, she had her own house, mm. she could house two men, mm. she could feed two men. Yeah. Her business was prosperous. Mm. She worshipped God. So worshipping God doesn't hinder you from being prosperous. Yes. She was a worshipper of God. She had her own house. Yes. Worshipping God doesn't hinder you from having your own house. Mm. She was worshipping God and she could afford to be hospitable. Yes. Worshipping God will not hinder you from being able to be hospitable. Mm. And guess what? She was a woman. Yes. That's the word for somebody. Mm. You're a woman and you're a worshiper of God. Mm. And you are maybe, and maybe, maybe, maybe now you're struggling. Mm. You are renting a house. Mm. You want to build a house. You have the mind of, you know, mm. housing people of God, being hospitable, but you don't have the, but you don't have the resource. Mm. Guess what? Your time has come. Man. God will start to do something in your life. Yeah. And your status of being a, a, a tenant, we change from becoming a landlord mm. by the power of the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. Amen. Because the possession of Lydia, they were used to help mm. in the advancements of the kingdom. Yeah. The house she had, she used it to house Paul and Silas, who came to declare God's word. Yeah. The food she had, she gave out of it to this man of God to sustain them. Mm. So, as a worshiper of God, get mm. ready. Your mm. prosperity is here in mm. Jesus' name. Amen. Mm. And how can we worship God today mm. in our time? Okay. Because some people will say that, wow, when I just do like this and I'm praising God, yeah. that that means I'm a worshiper of God. Mm. 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 So, how can we worship God today? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. The mm. Bible says, whether you eat or drink, whatever you do, do all to the glory of God. Yes. Your action daily is glorifying God. Yes, that's a worshiper. Oh, yes, a worshiper. Not just when we sing and we're uh -huh. saying, Hosanna, uh -huh. Hosanna, we worship you. For there is none like you in all the That's not the only thing. Mm, mm, mm. Everything that we do mm. must worship Him. Mm. He is our creator. Our hands must worship him. Mm. Do what we are supposed to do. This woman, she was a worshiper, although she was a worshiper in that time, maybe in following the laws of Moses and all. Okay. Mm. She was a worshiper, but she was doing something right. And what was she doing? Mm. She was selling, selling clothes. Mm, 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 mm. Hardworking woman. She was a hard working woman. She was working. Mm, mm. She was a hard worker. Mm, mm. She was laboring, physical labor. She was doing that too. Mm, Not mm. only going, maybe going to the synagogue and doing all these things. Mm, mm. She was industrious. She was industrious. That mm. is part of it. Our father works. We too, we are supposed oh, to work. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Any oh, yes. work that he tells us to do. The physical work that we are to do, we are to do it. Oh, yes. If it says do this work, do it. Mental work that we are supposed to do, studying, doing all those things, we are supposed to do it. Mm. No one that it says study to show thyself. That is talking about even our mental labor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Studying the word. We are also supposed to do physical labor. Mm. We've already said it that even. Adam and Eve that were worshippers of God, they had fellowship <laughs> with him. Oh, yes. God still told him to go and man the garden. Oh, yes. Go and do physical work. Mm, mm. So he didn't cut it out and say, oh, just go and be doing spiritual, just have fellowship with me. 
That is also fellowship when we do what God wants us to do. Our Father works, we too are supposed to work. That's what Jesus Christ himself said. My Father works up to now and I work. Mm. The Father didn't just do um, Genesis 1 and he rested on the seventh day. He worked six days, the seventh day he rested. And that up to now that he's still resting. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's still working up to now. That's what Jesus Christ said. Up to now, my father works. Mm. He's still working to bring people to the knowledge of the truth. Mm. He's still working in us, even. He mm. works in us to will and to do of his good pleasure. That is work. Mm. Mm. Unto God, who is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think, mm. according to the power that works in us. Mm. He's still working. Mm. Able to do his work. Mm. Mm. So we are all supposed to do the work that God calls us to do. Mm. Be industrious, do the one that we are supposed to do. Mm, mm, mm. Not just sit down and say we are worshiping God by just praising God like mm, that. Mm. Everything that we do, whether we eat or drink, whatever we are doing, we are all supposed to do it to mm. glorify God. Mm. Whether we are ministering to, we are supposed to do it as somebody that has been given that ministration by God, yes. thereby glorifying God, oh, yes. not standing as if we are the ones that own the message, that we are the ones that have brought up that message. That's not honoring God. That's not glorifying God. He that ministers shall minister as the servants of God, as of the ability that God gives, so that God in all things will be glorified mm, 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 mm. and as she was laboring mm. in there god was prospering the works of, of her, her hands. hands so no when we do that her hand, no wonder she could afford to have her own house yes and even house people yes <laughs> she didn't have to be relying on somebody to come and give her food, come and give her house, come mm -hmm, and give her mm -hmm, this and mm -hmm, give her that. Mm -hmm. If we labor our right, there is no way we will not oh, get, yes. oh, we yes. will not become prosperous if we labor our right according to what God wants us to do. Mm. See, as an, a man diligent in his business, he shall stand before kings, mm. he will not stand before mean men. Mm. Mm. Um, the verse 2. Okay. talks about in Thessalonians. Okay. It also talks about a prayer mm. there. Yeah. Then we'll round up. Yep. Thank you. Let's man. just put verse 2. Then mm. we we'll round up. That is we'll round it up. First Thessalonians chapter 1, right? Well, Second three. Thessalonians oh, 3 verse 2. Just Second. gives us okay. part of the prayer also can be found in verse 2. Mm. of our yeah. text today okay second thessalonians 3 we've looked at verse 1 we are also looking at verse 2 yeah and that we may be delivered from unreasonable and wicked men for all men have not faith mm. so that was also part of the prayer that they said they should pray for them that they should be delivered we can also pray god deliver us from all unreasonable and wicked men mm. For mm. not all people have faith. Mm. Not all people believe in Jesus Christ. Mm. Not all people believe in the kingdom principles even. Oh, yes. Not all people uh, hear what we have heard. Yes. Before we are doing... No, yes. No, before we started doing what we are doing. Yes. Not all people hear yes. what we have heard. Yes. So, they begin to persecute. Yes. And they yes. are people that can also hinder... Mm. the word of god oh yes because they are unreasonable and wicked also oh yes oh they yes. too human beings too can try and hinder the word of god as we can see even in passages mm. we've we've talked about the pharisees and scribes also trying to hinder the word so that too was part of their prayer mm. that they may be delivered from unreasonable and wicked men for not all men have faith hallelujah mm. We thank God for the word. We appreciate how far we have gone today. Mm -hmm. uh, we are blessed mm -hmm. in Jesus' name. Amen. Please uh, watch this video over and over again. You know, like it if you are watching on um, mm -hmm. Facebook or YouTube. You know, give us thumbs up, give us thumbs down. You know, give us your comments. 
-hmm. and um, let's share the good news mm -hmm. to the whole world. So, mm -hmm. as we say, as as we normally say, we appreciate the time you have spent mm -hmm. to uh, to watch this video, mm -hmm. and we believe that you know uh, the blessings behind spending time with the Lord. Mm -hmm you know, we manifest in your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We want to pray for mm -hmm. those who are believing God for sound health, healing. We believe, you know, as we, are, as we are teaching the word, healing was taking place. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we can still pray for those who are trusting God mm -hmm. for sound health. There is no, there is no distance in the realm of the spirit. Anywhere you, anywhere you are on the planet, just believe that God will touch you as we pray for you in Jesus' name. Amen. Mm -hmm. There was a uh, the story of uh, the centurion who came to Christ, and uh, he said his servant was almost at the point of death, mm -hmm. that his servant was dying, that Christ come and pray, and Christ said, "Well, I'll come and heal your servant." And the and the centurion said, "Please don't come. Just speak the word alone. That I'm a man under authority. I mm -hmm. tell one to go, and mm -hmm. he goes. Mm -hmm. and I tell one to come, and he comes. Speak mm -hmm. the word only, mm -hmm. and my servant will be healed." Mm. And Christ said, what a faith. Mm. That's a huge faith. Mm. And Christ just spoke the word and healing took place. Fruitfulness. Yeah. Uh -huh. Fruitfulness. There was fruitfulness behind what Christ said. You know, the, I mean, this was the distance. That particular servant of the centurion was healed. Mm. So anywhere you are, trust God as the healing is your portion as we pray in line with the word in Jesus' name. Guess mm -hmm. what? We have shared the word. So we expect healings to follow. Mm -hmm. We expect signs and wonders to follow. Mm -hmm. We expect God to confirm his word through healings mm -hmm. in our lives in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Please, if you are having any blood issue, pain issue, what about the sickness? Lay your hands upon your heart. If you are having issues with your bowels, lay your hands upon your stomach and we'll pray with you in jesus name mm -hmm. we speak to every bowel condition the name of we jesus. command you to be healed in jesus name Amen. every flow of blood in the name of we jesus command it to be dried up now in the mighty name of jesus Amen. every cancer of the stomach in the cancer name of, of the bones we command you to jesus. dry up now in jesus name Amen. be healed in the mighty name of jesus Amen every terminal disease we put an end to your operation now in jesus name. amen thank you jesus thank you, lord. we give you praise amen. thank you lord thank amen. you lord every spine condition be healed right now in the mighty name of jesus amen in jesus name we are prayed amen and amen, amen. amen. Thank you very we much appreciate for so coming. much <laughs> we love you so much for listening yeah for contributing yeah yeah even by just coming to listen to yeah yeah we, we appreciate, appreciate you so you. much mm. we love you all. yeah thank you yeah have a lovely weekend and lovely weeks ahead in jesus name amen bye bye